What up, family? How y'all doing today? We are about to maze ourselves. Get that? And what some people are calling one of the biggest scams that ever hit the internet. Now, me personally, I don't know if this really is a scam or not, but I do know one thing. What we don't want to do is sit up there and give credibility to this so-called scam. So right off the bat, we're already seeing that um, this particular scam that's being talked about on the internet is basically something that's been going on for a while. Now, a lot of people really don't want to talk about or say anything about it, to be honest or truthful. But I want to delve deep, and I've been on this platform for a little while. So let's go ahead and get started by looking at what uh, people call the Omay scam, basically. Um, and I'm going to show you, share my screen with you. And right now they're showing last chance to win a Sprinter van. Great. So first off, let's start with some of the stuff that's on their website here, where we, we're going to highlight some of this legal stuff right here. Now, this is the how you confirm a winner. Now, this was updated three months ago. Now, this is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard in my entire life. People who win $100 million lotteries have a better chance in getting in contact with the people than they do with Omaze, which makes it impossible for them to pick out certain winners, right? Well, many people think their winners are fake because of this uh, format in which you have to confirm yourself to be the winner. So... Another rant, let's go on here, check this out, shall we? So, official rules, we go, okay, section article 10, whatever, secret service. Um, okay, here we go. So, an Omaze representative, it says here, will notify the potential winner via email, okay? Potential winners have 24 hours to respond to our team's initial email. So, if you're getting a whole bunch of junk mail, you automatically lose. People can get junk mail like basically just gobs of junk mail, like a whole bunch of junk mail. Like you can get anywhere from 20 to over 100 junk mails a day. How are you going to find Omaze in that? You're not going to check your emails every single day or every single time a contest come around to try to find Omaze. Nobody has that time, especially if you get a bunch of junk email. So to give somebody 24 hours is unrealistic bull crap, okay? It's so that when they're so-called crypto computer picks out an actual winner it lets them be able to have the option to choose who they want to win because you only have 24 hours to respond to it and by the time you even know you got it it's too late okay and then it said that they or, or team may follow up with a scheduled video call as well whatever potential winner has to reply to our team's initial email then they're required to sign paperwork sent uh, to them by our winner experience team. That's funny, winner experience team. Uh, directly as part of the winner confirmation process. Now, check this out. We're going to skip down here because it's talking about uh, per section 10, affidavit, uh, eligibility, release of liability and all that. Which I, um, I guess the release of liability is for those trips that you win when you're actually going somewhere. That's understandable. Okay, because you don't want to run a company where you're giving people, you know, the winning ticket to go visit their favorite country and they want to claim that you're responsible for taking them there in the first place. That's unrealistic. So we're, we're not even going to jump on that part. But let's check out this next part, which it says, okay, I don't know if you can see it or not. It says this. Okay, okay. So it says uh, necessary to confirm and verify our potential winner. Um. Oh, this part right here. This part would trip me out. And or any other documentation, okay? For instance, health and safety forms, including any vaccination assertions, including providing proof of the same in a format determined by the sponsor, Omaze, and its sole discretion. Now, if you really read between the lines of that bull crap that I just read, basically what they're saying is, say for instance, you went a trip somewhere, okay? And you have to have vaccinations, okay? Not only are they saying they want you to provide proof within a certain time frame, which I'm about to get to that certain time frame, but in the format that is determined 
by the sponsor or, or amazed in his sole discretion. So if even if you got the time frame down, if you don't have it within the format, within the time frame, well, you SOL, you know? Um, it says that's necessary to confirm and verify the potential winner's eligibility. Okay, this may vary based on prize potential, winner's place of residence. The winner experience team requests that paperwork is returned within 48 hours. They don't want it returned in a movie's time, okay? Ask Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. They ain't like that either. But in 48 hours, that's when they want that to return. Only old people, older people would get that reference I just made. Or within the time frame provided by the team. If the potential winner does not execute and return all required documents within the time frame specified by Omaze, the potential winner will forfeit the prize and Omaze will move on to another randomly uh Drawn potential winner. So here's the thing you're saying. Basically, you have 48 hours to respond to the initial email. Then what they do is they send you stuff that can or need to be or may at their discretion need to be fit out and returned within 48 hours, depending on what they need. If you don't do any of that, they so-called rerun their so-called bullcrap algorithm to go and choose another winner. This is the reason why I say their algorithm is bullcrap, but then it says how do I know if I'm eligible to win one of your sweet states? So it says, uh, sweet state spirits. Okay, it's up stuff. Well, we read. Go to the website, read the rest of that. I'm only highlighting certain things. Okay, only highlighting certain things that I found out. Okay, now we're going to click on Omay's site. Okay, so we're going to go up to where it says, where's the winners at? Winners, they changed their website because they used to have it all up here. Okay, so. I don't know why she got a car for a Tesla, but in, yeah, um, she won a Tesla Model 3 in 20K, okay? Madison, Alabama. Great. If that's her house, she didn't need a Tesla. She could have bought it. You know what I'm saying? She probably got a big house. In Alabama, uh, I don't know Madison personally, but I know in Alabama, if you have a brick house, that's saying something. Uh, we don't want to look at these because that, that dude, we... We know who this dude is. He looks familiar. I'm going to see if y'all can go ahead and point him out. Uh, we're going to skip some of these right here. Because you know they got to have them one or two black people on there. That make it seem like it's legit. See, they, they try so hard to make it seem like it's legit with black people. That they forget uh, the Native Americans and the, the Asians and the Hispanics. Uh, I mean Mexicans. Uh, uh, if I said it wrong, I apologize. But they forget about them. And, and it, oh, we, we got to get some black faces on there. So, you know. Get all the black people to play. Okay, so let's start in January with some of these grand prize winners. Okay. Okay, so somebody named Christian. Now, remember, this is all public information. You easily go to the website and see it. It ain't like I'm showing you, like, private information. This is public information. One in Ashton Martin Vantage in the L.A. Dreamhouse giveaway. I'm wondering why somebody from Brewcrest Romania is playing for an LA House giveaway when you got to go through a whole bunch of stuff to even get here in the first place, fam. Unless they were just winning it for the money because you can get a cash alternate prize on that. Greg S. from Washington, D.C. won the $50,000 winter flash prize. And then you got somebody from uh, some Sean H. They never put the last names of these people. Wonder why. They, they can show their faces, which is you can easily find on the internet, but not their last name. If you're going to show your face, you might as well put your last name, too. Uh, at, at Taylor, California, I probably butchered that, and won $50,000 in an L.A. Dreamhouse giveaway. That's understandable. He lives in California. He wants that house. That's understandable. But since he didn't get the house, they gave him a $50,000 second cash prize. You know. All right, so let's go and see... Let's pick this one out. Now, this prize is a Jeep Custom Wrangler, right? Now, I'm going to have you look at the pictures of these people and tell me that these prizes that are won don't relate to these people that won them. Tell I want you to, I want y'all to tell me, okay? Okay. Say he say he don't look like a Jeep guy. Say he don't look like a Jeep guy. He's Michael T from uh Texas. Remember, this information is public. So I'm not saying any private stuff. But tell me, especially being in Texas, he don't look like a Jeep guy. 
Let's keep going. Um, let's see the Delo uh, this DeLorean right here. It better not be a nerd. I know it better not be no nerd. Rochester, New York. He looks like a well-suited guy. He looks like a well-suited guy. We're, what we're trying to see is if these prize winners are related to the prizes themselves. This guy, he's from Florida. He won him a trip to go to St. Lucia. You're already in Florida. The heck? I guess they want him to experience the mountains since he's down there in Florida. Oh, let's see who won this multi-million dollar dream house. Let's look for these big ones. Okay, so you got this guy, Peter C., Los Angeles, California, who won this house, right? I might be crazy, but that picture of that guy looks totally different from when I should have took a picture a long time ago. That picture looks totally different from the guy that actually won it. And I don't remember his name being Peter, but we, we ain't going to say anything about that. Okay, so we got all these people who here, Joshua uh, from Parker, Colorado, run the BMW. You in Colorado, you need BMW. Okay, so we got Tom's Rivers, New Jersey, won the flash prize. Uh, uh, Turks in, what? Um, Miami, driving an Audi Q8. I mean, it's obvious, you're in Miami. Of course, you're going to drive an Audi Q8. Like, what? Why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? Let's see who won this Meals on Wheels trip to Japan. Curated. $40,000 curated just for you. Who won that? Tell me he don't look like... Come on. Come on. That's a nerd. Nerd knows nerds. Tell me he don't look like no nerd. Tell me. Tell me right now he don't look like a nerd. Eric G. G-Dog. Eric G. Gangsta. From Lawton, Michigan. Won this prize to go to Japan. That's That prize seemed to be awfully related to him. I got Man, if an old dude won that prize, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's random. But come on now. He looked like an otaku almost, man. Hold up. I got a message here. Okay, so I had to get that text message out of the way. Someone was telling me he's stuck on the toilet at the store. Yeah, I'm going to tell everybody that. <laughs> okay, let's see who else. Let's see some more of these winners and how they relate. That's the January winners. Let's look at some February winners. See how, because see, when what we're looking for is a pattern. We're looking for if the winners, which we already know they're not going to have their last names. If the winners relate to the prizes that are being won. Now, let's go the Batman. Good movie. I love that movie, by the way. I can't even do a rant on it because I love that movie. Xavier from Brownsville, Texas. That looked like a real win right there. I'm about to say, if it was a female that won that prize, it's like, come on, bro. Come on. Who won this? I bet some. it's got to be a guy with a beard. It's a guy with a beard, right? What? He got a beard. No, that's a mustache. I'm tripping. Steven C.O., Fort Collins, Colorado. Steven looked like an outdoor man anyways. Steven looked like he either lived in a small home, like one of them tiny homes, or, or he's a nomad or something like that. He looks like that. So having this right here, yeah, it's boss. So like I said, most people claiming that these campaigns are fake, so we want to see, bro, bro, he put up a uh, uh, whole piece of uh, extradextrous with his lifestyle choices in a date because you can date anybody, okay? Anybody could have won that date, which happens to be a female who won that date. Is it Adriana? Some people might call her Adriana, but it, Adriana, I hope I said it right, Shawnee, Kansas, pretty awesome that you won that. Out of that random generator, that random number choice generator, that you won that date right there. I'm guessing the other guy who won the thing with Robert Pattinson must have been a Batman fan. Random. 
generated. Let's continue going. What? Who's this guy right here? This stealth right here. Right here. Oh, that's a guy with a beard. Jacksonville, Florida. Of course you're in Jackson. I used to stay down there. Of course you're going to need this car. Mari in one, the Mercedes. Stealth edition. The f wow. He looks like a veteran. He, he kind of looks like it. He kind of looks like it. He kind of looks like a veteran. Latin, Grammy, Cultural Foundation. Who won this one? Catherine S. Quincy, Massachusetts. She wants to experience that culture concept, I guess. She wants to experience that. I don't know why I say culture concept. Okay, let's look at the next one. Mike. Greenwood, South Carolina. M Mike. Come on, Mike. Come, Mike, Mike, come, Mike, come on, Mike. Is that a bent? That's a Bentley. That's a bent. You want a Bentley, Mike? And your picture it looks. I don't know. It maybe looks like you took a picture in the factory or something like that. Maybe in your garage. It might be the garage. It might be the garage right there. But come on, like here, here's a picture of Mike. Mike, it looked like you he, using the garage somewhere. Come on, Mike. Mike, come on. We know good and well. He won a Bentley. Nice, nice. So far, I haven't seen too much of... Uh, some of the prizes look like they kind of relate to some of the people. Like, But you can't really judge... I mean, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, but you can't really judge a person who they are off a picture. I mean, somewhat, but not all the way. Ryan B don't even have a picture. Smart guy. Like, I don't want nobody to see I won. So why ain't either a young white guy or he's black? I have a feeling he's a young white guy, short hair, buzz cut with glasses. I'm, I don't know. I just, I just see that image in my head. Uh, Clean shaven. I just see that image in my head. Ryan B. From Vancouver. Is that British Columbia? B.C. Before Christ. Okay, so that's probably explains the reason why he went to African Safari and a visit to the Taj Mahal. Because he's from before Christ, Vancouver. Okay. So let's see what else here. Let's go to the March winners. And the funny thing is, when I remember seeing these winners before. None of these are people I remember actually winning. And I checked the winning thing. Oh, let's see who won this. And probably a woman who won this, right? Who won this one? There you have it. It's a woman. Lori from Denver, Colorado. From Denver Company. Chief Officer. From Denver Chief Officer. Company, Colorado. She won the uh she won this top prize right here. Run a top prize right there, fam. Run a top prize. This is the more to win down here. I'm not paying because those are still currently running programs right there. Oh, let's see who won a Hawaii one. This is the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. And you get to pick the island, bro. This is the one I wanted to win. Let's, let's see who won this one. Of course. Of course. Arlene from California. You're, you're right there. Nobody else in the United States won that. But the person who is the in the state that is the closest to Hawaii. Random generator. Congratulations, by the way, though. There's some nice glasses. I love that smile. That's a nice smile. Hope you, whoever you and your significant other there is, Y'all have yourselves a great time because this looks beautiful, right? Okay, so National Geographic trip for two to New Zealand. Who want to go to New Zealand? Is it somebody? It's probably somebody white. And there he goes, bro. I ain't even see this one. Like the January, February, one, February ones I've seen. 
I've only seen two Aprils, but March and May, I have not seen any of the winners. And this is March. Okay, March 30th. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the March and May winners, but I've seen two April winners. So, and I've seen January and February winners, which is the reason why some of them January, February winners don't even look familiar this time. There's like different people, but you know what? He, he looks like he wants to go here. A trip for two to New Zealand? He looks like he wants to go here. Okay, so now we got to support Black Lives Matter, right? Not even a black person won this one. What did I tell you? New Jersey City, New Jersey. Amy R. won that glorious trip to Scotland. Because you know if a black person would have won the trip. I mean... If a Native American or Asian would have won the trip, if a, if, a, if a Mexican would have won the trip, I mean, by golly, we can't do that. That wouldn't look right. Random generator. Okay, so we got the Sport Valkyrie gives a 1958 Porsche. That's from that uh, 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 James Bond movie. Am I right? I might be wrong. I think it's the last one Dan Craig did. I would I wouldn't even want this in this day and age. It's like there's no point in me having it. That dude look like his name is Phil. Change your name. Joe E from Pittsburgh. I said Pittsburgh. From Harrisburg. I was looking at the PA and looked at Berg and put it all together. But Joe E from Harrisburg. PA. Okay. He got a pimp. He's from Pimp and Associates. Harrisburg, Pimp and Associates. That's where he's from. He ended up winning this. Yeah, he looks like that type of guy. He looks like he probably an architect or something like that. He's on his own. He could have bought that car himself. He's like, no, I'm not going to buy that car. I'm going to save money by spending $200 on trying to win the car instead of spending 1000 actually buying a car that's a good choice at the school all-stars it better not be no bearded dude won this tell me he don't look like an outdoorsman buffalo new york tell me my guy don't look like an outdoorsman andy k from buffalo new you tell me buffalo never young Tell me this guy don't look like an outdoorsman to win that truck right there. Come on. It's like that truck spoke his name. It's like the truck spoke his name and he won it. Yeah, let's see who won this house right here. Let's check out this house. We're, we're going to move on to the next one, but we got to check out this house one real quick. Who won this house one? Carrie? From Monrose, California, won a house in Los Angeles. Of course she won that house. She's already in Los... She's already in California. She's already in Cali. So, of course she won that house. She looked like she pulled in about 200000 a year. But now, congratulations, she got a $4.3 million house. I will take the cash prize offering, which is... Wait, let me look at this. Well, you, you, let's look at her video real quick. Let's look at her video. It's already on YouTube. But let's no, nah, cause they might demonetize this shit. They, they just for that, cause you know how YouTube is—they pick their winners and losers. Uh, where's the stuff? For, really, they don't have it up already. Like I said, there's some stuff that changed on this website, cause usually this is already up. Okay, so you got the second cash prize. Second cash prize. Fifty thousand. I said fifty thousand. I said fifty thousand. Fifty thousand dollars, the second cash prize. Okay, so hold up, hold up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Where, where are we at right now? There we go. Okay, grand prize, approximate retail value, right here, four point three five million. Right now, the cash alternative is three million. Feel me? Amy, who makes two hundred thousand dollars a year, you better take that three million dollars. You probably already got you a big house. You better take that, you better take that $3 million. 
You can retire off of that. But it's monthly installments, though, bro. It ain't yearly. It ain't, oh, we gonna pay you over 24 years. No, we pay you over two years, $125,000 a month. What? Bro. Y'all better get it. Grand Cash Prize Alternative will be paid in 24 equal payments, monthly installments of 125 G's. Stop playing. Let's go back to G. Let's go back. Who's that? Oh, it's Carrie. I'm sorry. I apologize for getting your name wrong. It's Carrie. Carrie won that. Carrie gonna carry all that money to the bank. Stop playing with her. She's from, she's from Mont Rose Cash Always. That's where she's from. Cash Always. That's how she won that money. She always about that cash. She always about that money. We about to do one more. We about to do one more. Let's see. I'm interested. Let's see who did the boss thing. Let's see who won that. Let's see who won that. Bro, I'm not even going to lie to you. That threw me all the way off until I seen where she was from. That boss sled threw me up. Went a Arctic vacation to Sweden to chase the northern lights. Why ain't nobody in the United States won all of a sudden? Why ain't nobody in the hot areas? Cali seem to be winning a lot. Cali seem to be winning all the time. Cali be winning lotteries. Cali be winning the Powerball, Mega Millions. Cali now winning Omaze. Cali just be winning it. Y'all supposed to be broke. Y'all winning it. But y'all got stimulus checks every month. Nobody else did. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, okay, she's beautiful. I was going to say, what? She she got that? She going to the art? Bro. She's from Ontario. She's used to the cold. So of course she's going to win that one. They weren't going to have no uh, uh, person from the Midwest win that. Can't deal with no cold. Be sitting up there freezing, talking about like this. I love my win. T chattering and junk. Support Quavo care. Support Quavo cares. I'll probably butcher that, but yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. The Land Rover Defender 110 Crew Cab. It better not be no outdoorsman that won this. It better be a woman that won this. It's an outdoor. Look at that beard. Look at that beard. How shiny and perfect it is. And you tell me he ain't no outdoorsman? Get out of here. Andrew. From Marquette. I think that's Michigan. Won that. I ain't got one for MI. I ain't got one for MI. He won that. That was obvious. Let's see who won. Let's see who won his tiny home. This is one of the ones I wanted. I wanted this bad boy. I was like, yeah. Let me get this custom tiny home. I can put it behind my truck. Go anywhere I want to go. By myself. Go anywhere I want to go. Right? He won it. This dude looks very familiar. Like I see him on a YouTube channel or something like that. Corey B from Hartsfield still chilling. South Carolina. He won that. While he's sitting still, chilling. Get it? Is it? Okay. Y'all don't have to pay me any attention. Y'all don't have to pay me any mind at all. Like, I'm getting goofy right now. Usually, I don't even bring this side of me out, man. Usually, I don't do this. This is a long video. I might need to shorten this a little bit, though. But I'm going to start. I need to start making longer videos because this is this is interesting to me. This Omay stuff, right? Matter of fact, I'm going I'm to message right now. I'm going to message... I'm going to mess with my niece and my sister right now. I just put up another new you, another YouTube video. I want you to go see it. I need my support system. Okay. Will be up in a few hours. So by the time she see this video, she gonna look at the text message like, this boy to sit here and message me during a video. Okay, so we got the Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. Do that, do when you say Jimmy Johnson, do that. Jimmy Johnson. 
It's foundation. So I want it. I want one of these airstreams so bad, dude. To like for a bug out vehicle or something like that. See, I, I will talk about this in the future though. About what I think as far as stuff you should have for when you bug out or for when you, when you go on off the grid or, or something like that or camping or any of those things. Um, Phoenix, Arizona. Fe well, of course. Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, my God. Phoenix, Arizona. Really? Really? Phoenix, Australia Zebras, Arizona. She won it. I don't want to mispronounce her name wrong, so I'm not going to say it. Who want outdoor gear from Palm Beach, Florida? Want some outdoor gear? You on Palm Beach, Florida? What you going to do with some outdoor gear? You better get that to somebody else. But she won it. Beautiful woman. She won it. Right? Well, of course, she's in Phoenix, Arizona. It looks like it's from Phoenix. It looks like, look, look like they took a picture of it in, in, in Arizona. And she won it because she's already living there. Random generator. Who we got next? Oh, that was it. That was it. April didn't have that many prizes. Y'all tripping. Get some more prizes up there, bro. Get some more prizes up there, bro. Okay, these I want I, these prizes I win in myself. So one, I'm pissed off on who won. I don't like I don't even like you, dude. You kind of look like this dude right here. I don't even like you. Richard R. from Waco, Texas. You ain't need that money. I needed it. No, I'm kidding, man. Congratulations. Seriously. Like, congratulations. Uh, Waco, Texas. So, you know what I'm saying? He gonna, he gonna have to pay them taxes on it, though. <laughs> he gonna have to pay them taxes. Okay. So, let's go back here. And then we're gonna check out one more. I think this will be the last one. The 4.3 million Lake Tahoe Dream House. You feel me? This dude looked like he took a picture in front of the house itself. Don't tell me Omaze ain't rigged. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Y'all really be messing with these winners. It's like y'all choose the winners for these houses to be from the farthest city as possible from the place they can freaking win it in. If you go back and look where the prize is of, of the house versus the city of the winner, Omay seen the own purpose with their so-called random generator pick a winner who's literally the farthest away from the house that they won. You know, bro took that cash prize. He took that cash prize. He said, I'm comfortable in Fort Lauderdale, Florida with my solar panels. Let me get that money so I can get some more solar panels. He probably built a bug out place. He probably did that. that that's awesome. I want to say congratulations to Stuart B. Little from Fort Lauderdale uh, Floodlands, uh, a.k.a. Florida. I want to say congratulations to him for winning that. Um, he might need to move from the Floodlands to that Tahoe Dream House, but I'm glad he won it. So, here's the here's the thing. When they do these winners, are they doing like Plumbers and Clearhouse where they like, hey, you know what, we gonna film a video with you. Just, win. just act like you know that you wasn't aware of you winning. Knowing they, they, they pre-go over the script with these people. Ain't nobody stupid. We know you go pre-go over the script with these people. We know that already. We def we definitely know that. So as you can see here, yeah, this is funny to me, bro. This is real funny to me. Hold on, let's see some of these winners. Anchorage, Alaska won five thousand dollars a ticket master. Okay, um, the that's what it text madness. I ain't hear about text madness. Rachel M from Oakland, California. Like I said, cash always won. The Earth Monthly Cash Prize of $25,000. And she owed the government $13,000. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, the, you know the government like to be in your money. like they, they like to steal your money. So looking at this, man, I mean, we can go back all the way to 2019. Let's just go randomly 2019, see who won some of this stuff. Um, we got we to gotta get something nice, the Super Bowl. Let's see who won this United Way Super Bowl trip. Let's see who won this. Andrew 
from California. They don't have his picture though. They must didn't put pictures up there. They must didn't put pictures up there, or he didn't give him one. Let's see here. First of all, he is not the fittest man on earth. There's this um, dark skinned dude. I don't know if he's black all the way. He looked like he's kind of got something mixed in there. Who was a Navy SEAL. And I think they said he took the Navy SEAL course not once, not twice, but three times because he was bored. Is one of the baddest people on the face of this planet. So I don't know what they're talking about on that. I'm probably screaming y'all ears off on this. I don't mean to do that. Let's hang backstage. Why? Support doctors with explore business errors during a total eclipse. What? Are they serious? Let's see if a nerd won this one. Oh, yeah, they weren't doing pictures then. I think they didn't start doing pictures until they got accused of, like, not having legitimate wins on these things. David S. from Lincoln, Nebraska, who scored a $500 AMC gift card. That's con very convenient. Somebody from the Midwest got that. Scored a $1,000 Amazon gift card. I know this is in the past, but if you ever get a $1,000 Amazon gift card, buy a solar generator. That would be the best gift you can give to yourself. That's the best gift one can give to themselves. So this is a customized Windows bus, right? She got it. Camille, congratulations from Iowa. Congratulations. Congratulations. Do so y'all just giving out Bentleys with 20 grand in the trunk, right? Yeah, that's that's how y'all doing it. They doing this one again? Okay, I guess they need some more. On that one. They doing a Super Bowl one again. And let's see here. Of course, Super Bowl happens every year. I'm surprised they're doing the other one, though. Ducati. The Ville. What? Who won it? Who won it? Michelle. 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 What? 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 You got it? What? I guess New York makes sense, though. Because you're not doing a lot of driving. So I guess New York makes a lot of sense. I'm not even going to sit there in front. But congratulations on winning that. That's a new you right there. That's a new you right there. So congratulations on winning that. So like I said, man, I'm looking at these experiences. And I'm like, what? Now, I know a lot of people... When they go to Old Maze, they notice how some of the winners are, don't have their last names. Look like that's something they've been doing for a long time. I don't know why myself, but it looks like that's what they've been doing. Um, I, I, I will say this, though. Is that it's, it's not bad to have, you know, ooh, that mug got a washer in it. In a tiny home. What? Let me see who won that. Matt. Denver, Colorado. Actual tiny home to be awarded, not depleted, because it'll be custom. It's fair. I want to see who won a dinner with the two giraffes right there. But my thing is this, man. My thing is this. A lot of people say that Omez is fake because the charity really don't even get much of the money. But it seems like their platform, the way they got it designed, is working. So they got it to where, um, let's say, for instance, uh, if you give $10, uh, $6 goes towards, you know, the prizes, the advertisement, the infrastructure, and all that type of stuff. Omaze gets $1.50, and then a charity gets $1.50. So it's not. it seems like it's not really that much. We're going to be honest with you. It's not really that much. But... It seems to be a format that is actually working, okay? A format that's definitely, definitely working, okay? Um, or, no, I think they get 250 And then, the other, yeah. So, they get, 
six dollars goes towards you know dealing with the stuff like the prizes and stuff and advertisement 250 to a maze and then 150 to the charity so even though the charity is only getting a dollar or fifty out of ten dollars if that adds and stacks up they get a pretty good amount but Think about it. Well, people we normally giving the charities if it wasn't for that intermediary of mazes, giving people the chance to win prizes. Because some of that money actually go towards the prize itself. So you see, you see what I'm saying? Most people don't like the format. Only thing I don't like is the whole winner's thing. That seems to be suspect to me. It seems to be like when the game ends to the part when you announce the winner. It's a, it's a lot of stuff that goes on behind closed scenes with that. And I'm not seeing enough transparency when it comes to that. Um, it's sort of like the lottery. The reason why the lottery is not live anymore because the lottery generates where it wants the winning numbers to go, whether people believe that or not. I actually got a video on that. I'll probably pop it up somewhere right here on the screen near the end of this video uh, showing that where you can go ahead and look and how I talk about the lottery. Just give a brief discussion on it saying you still have a chance to win, but they're not showing how the numbers are generated. Same thing go with Old Maze. You're not seeing that. Then there's a lot of lawyer stuff, man. You only have a 24-hour notice to respond to the email that they send you. That's another crazy thing because then they can use that to uh, be able to pick the winners that they want by saying, oh, you didn't respond in time. Or they can send an email at the last minute or something like that, not realizing that emails are actually timestamped. But somebody said they had that experience before. Also, another person who said they actually won a prize by not giving any money at all said it's very difficult to actually get the prize. So they said they had to go through a bunch of red tape and stuff like that. Extra processes were added and involved in there that weren't even mentioned just to make sure that these people who didn't put any money into winning the prize didn't get the prize at all and that the prize went to somebody who actually won it. And so a lot of times there's also a lot of stories about people who are winning these prizes and they're putting at least, you know, $25 into, you know, the bet. You know what I'm saying? To In order to win the prize. You know what I'm saying? By the way, uh, she, Santa Teresa Brazil, she won the prize to go to the draft mentor in Kenya. Congratulations. Beautiful woman. She won that. I, I, ain't, got, I ain't got one for Brazil. Um, but... That, and that's the thing. Like, a lot of people don't agree with that. So, if y'all watching this video, just put your thoughts down below. Um, I will say subscribe. That does help. I don't have that many subscribers. I'm going to be honest with you at the point that I'm uploading this video. Now, I may get like 100,000 subscribers by the time y'all see this video or maybe a million subscribers. But right now, as I'm making this video, so, like I said, just go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to start to bring more rants into the page. I'm about to actually film another one after this. So stay safe, people. Look out for each other. Stay safe. If I smack you in the face. All right, then. Peace out.